How can culture protect the environment, reduce inequalities, or promote decent work? By safeguarding heritage, supporting culture policies, and promoting jobs of culture professionals. Culture safeguards the environment, engages, informs, educates, transforming perspectives and bringing people together to make our planet a sustainable place to live in. Yet culture's contribution to a sustainable world remains largely invisible. In the 2030 Agenda, culture is present just in Indicator 11.4.1, which only measures expenditure on heritage. There is a lack of harmonized and reliable data collection mechanisms for culture. Culture-related data remains limited and scattered across various institutions. Numbers alone do not show culture's contribution. Qualitative measures are also necessary for culture. Without data, culture risks being marginalized and poorly funded. UNESCO Culture 2030 Indicators is a framework to measure and monitor culture's contribution to the 2030 Agenda. It has been developed with the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, UIS, and other partners. It provides 22 indicators grouped in four thematic dimensions. Environment and resilience, prosperity and livelihoods, knowledge and skills, inclusion and participation. Each dimension is linked to the Sustainable Development Goals and UNESCO Culture Conventions. SDG 5 on gender equality and SDG 17 on partnerships are cross-cutting across the dimensions. Additional indicators are also under development to measure culture's contribution to SDG 16 on peace building. The first phase of implementation ongoing from 2021 includes 13 countries and 17 cities from all regions of the world. What did the UNESCO Culture 2030 indicators reveal? Let's have a look at some implementation outcomes. Costa Rica in Costa Rica, culture contributes to the economy counting for 1.9% of the GDP and 7.8% of all businesses. Creative economy is a major focus of the national cultural policy. A creative and cultural strategy is in place, with the Cicultura regularly providing data. Costa Rica's policy also promotes civic participation and makes culture accessible to all. The National Policy on Cultural Rights 2014-2023 aims at strengthening participation of all individuals and communities in cultural life. More than 2,000 people were consulted for its preparation. Para nosotros, como ministerio y como país, esta experiencia aporta gran valor para nuestra gestión en la medida en que logramos crear relaciones entre cultura y múltiples campos del desarrollo como educación, ambiente, economía, entre otros. Morocco. Implementation showed the transversal role that artisanal crafts play in Morocco's path to sustainable development. Crafts are an essential asset of the country's heritage. A national strategy with a vision for 2030 is in place to preserve and promote Moroccan crafts. Morocco's education system devotes 22% of cultural education hours to crafts education and training to transmit traditional knowledge and skills to youth as new generations of workers. Overall, culture contributes to 5% of total employment and to 5.9% of all businesses. In Esuera, public space helps make culture accessible. 73.3% of public open spaces are used for cultural activities. The data collected is evidence of Morocco's capacity to connect culture to multiple dimensions of sustainable development, from heritage preservation to sustainable employment. Vietnam. Sustainable urban development centered on culture is a clear priority for the city of Hue in Vietnam. 80% of all public open spaces can be classified as cultural open space, with the banks of the Huong River being a special cultural open space of the city. UNESCO indicators also make clear the city's capacity to preserve and promote heritage for future generations while enhancing gender equality. Over 61.2% of instructional hours at lower secondary education level are dedicated to cultural education. 
In total, 20.4% of female students study in a cultural education field at the tertiary level versus 15.2% at the post-secondary level. Burkina Faso Social inclusion in Burkina Faso is remarkably high. 95.8% of citizens are open and willing to have a neighbor of a different race, nationality or religion. Tolerance is a major asset to strengthen peace, intercultural dialogue, diversity and equitable economic growth. In Burkina Faso, culture also directly contributes to the economy, counting for 3.3% of the GDP and 149,911 jobs in 2019. This is more than 3% of total employment. Serbia In Serbia, the creative economy is significant for gender equality. Cultural occupations count for 6.8% of total employment, of which 56% are women. The culture sector employs 8.1% of the total working women versus 5.3% for men. Overall, culture is an important investment area. An impressive 94.7% and 95.5% of instruction hours are dedicated to multilingualism. 2,454 public institutions enrich the country's cultural life. Cultural activities thrive in Serbia. In 2019, 79.6% of the surveyed population participated at least once in a going-out cultural activity. Implementation in the city of Leskovac reveals the high number of cultural institutions in a single Serbian city, active both in urban and rural areas. Portugal Sustainable management of heritage is a priority in Portugal, particularly through the promotion of local empowerment processes of heritage designation and ownership. Major heritage sites directly involve the local communities through policy and educational tools, such as the Opinion Council of the Cultural Landscape of Sintra. Prehistoric rock art sites in the Coa Valley and Siega Verda and the historic center of Evora are worth a special mention. They both adopted gender equality plans to ensure gender-balanced contributions. In 2020, public expenditure for culture amounted to €115.65 per capita, registering a 7% increase from 2018 to 2019. The UNESCO Culture 2030 Indicators highlights the contribution of culture to sustainable development. The framework advances participatory and inclusive approaches to policy making with a particular focus on gender equality by ensuring sex disaggregated data. By adopting the framework, countries and cities will benefit from UNESCO's expertise and capacity building on cultural data, receive support for evidence based policies and actions on culture and development, and contribute to UNESCO's global data set on culture. How can you make culture count? Contact UNESCO to help you implement the Culture 2030 Indicators. Explore the data bank to discover results and find inspiration for your policies and actions.